Hey everybody, I just wanted to take a minute to show you the update from last week. Um, I have upgraded my Mac to Catalina, uh, several years behind the times here, and upgraded to Ableton Live 10. Uh, so that's news, that's exciting. Uh, anyway, enough of that. Here's the thing that I made, and I'm going to go through and uh, click, click through some of the channels so you can see what little bit of processing I've done so far. As you hear the sounds and watch the video. Hope you enjoy! How did that happen? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, I have to redo this whole thing. Well, there's a sweet sample that you didn't hear that goes like this. It's from Jay Dilla's Donuts. Let's let's hit that last section again. I really don't want to re-record this. I think I'm gonna keep this whole thing under a minute. Uh, and just make a bunch of stuff like this. Uh, I could probably try to turn this into a full song if I really cared to, but to me it's more of a gimmick of like, look, I made music out of things I found in my house. Uh, as you can see, there's very little processing on a lot of this. Um, I did do a side chain on this Smash Brothers thing. I was trying to go for that kind of classic house, like high uh, synth note. I did that with the drill as well, sort of emulating that you know, that, that really high pitch kind of whole, to, whole note that you'll get in a lot of house music. Uh, I didn't hold the drill long enough uh, when I was recording these. I was just, I didn't know how long I was going to need. Originally, I had started out with that stretched out, and I had stretched out the video to match. But it looked weird because the drill was spinning so slow in the video because I had to slow down the video to make it last the duration uh, for that uh, measure. While I'm speaking about the video, let me uh, go here and show you. The video things. So what I've done, uh, I started with, uh, if you saw my last video, I started with um, just the two channels of the video file that Ableton can run. Now if you are, uh, if you're running Mac OS Catalina, you have to get Ableton 10 because Catalina uh, does not support video in Live 9, I discovered. So I'd been wanting to upgrade to 10 anyway, and this finally gave me an excuse. So here I am in Ableton 10, running uh, .mov files straight from my iPhone, and able to get the video to play back in Ableton, which obviously I'm not, if you're trying to do serious video editing stuff, I wouldn't be using Ableton. It's kind of just fun, because I'm not using Pro Tools, or I would be doing the same kind of thing, editing sound for picture. Uh, we're doing sound for picture here, it's just you can do it in Ableton and you can do all of the audio editing that you really want to do in Ableton and use the video in here kind of just as a placeholder. Uh, realistically, what I would do if I was trying to make a high quality video is use these video clips in here in Ableton as placeholders like I've done, but then uh, render that video separately. Like use it for placeholders to get your audio mix and do all the mixing in here audio wise. But then if you're gonna do color, you know, you can't do color correction, white balance, you can't do transitions or zooms or, text or any of your kind of traditional video editing uh flare can't do any of that as far as i know there, there might be a max for live plugin where uh you could get get really crazy but i haven't gone that far down the rabbit hole yet but as you can see it's really helpful just you have the waveform of the audio from the video that helps you do time aligning so up here i've got a, a whole group of video uh, it looks like it's about oh 15 channels and then I have those same 15 channels mirrored in a second group down here. So channel one here is the beginning of the, of the video. It's that door slamming clip of the door slamming. And then you scroll down to the audio group and we have the audio of the door slamming 
and that's actually what you're hearing. Um, so what I've done here is uh, just a simple transpose eight steps. I uh, kept it in beats as the warp. Um, what do they call that? The, the warp. Uh, kept it in beats and uh, went to one bar of preservation. And uh, I don't know what this is what this is called. I've used this technique for a long time um, where you you have the clip will play through once and stop, and that graphic is showing you a hard stop at the end of the clip, and then you can set basically the, I guess kind of the attack and release of that uh, to where it stops more suddenly. I'm not trying to go super deep into explaining these things. I just wanted to show you what I've done so far. So that's how I got this, this uh, kick drum sound out of this door. And just for reference, I will show you what the door sounded like in the video. So the, the video audio of the door. Sounds like a door closing. Uh, sometimes the video crashes. So we went from that to this. Using drum bus, now, today, I put a drum bus on there because um, I'd seen that in a couple other videos and it looked like a pretty sweet plugin that was not available in Live 9. Um, it replaced the glue compressor that I have been using for years, the old trusty glue compressor. Um, so I'm doing the drum bus instead. Uh, also to note that this kick drum is mono. Uh, I'm using the new utility, new to me that is, uh, utility plugin in Live 10 here um, just to smash that down. And the way they, I guess if you're not using this mono button, you can mix the mid side. Um, I, I don't know, but you can also, maybe, I, I don't know. I don't really know how it works yet, but I know it needs to be in mono. Um, yeah, that's that's enough. I'll do a full mix review of this later. I'm not quite done with it, but I did want to share something. It's Monday, and I'm trying to upload videos to YouTube every Monday and Thursday, so here's my Monday, May 18th YouTube video for all uh, 24, I think, of my subscribers. 25 now. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, please... Leave a comment below or click like uh, if you haven't subscribed and you're somehow seeing this video. That's great. It's really nice to see you here. Please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications so that you get a ding on your phone when this video hits. And yeah. All right.